Here's Brody Brazil. Okay, I'm just realizing here, this might be the most primitive video I've ever made. I mean, the topic is so simple. How could I spend more than 30 seconds on how to use the windsock? It's not hard to understand. Wind blows across it. It points in the direction that wind is going, right? End the video. Thanks for watching. No, but there's actually more to this. And if there's multiple windsocks on an airport surface, and especially if they are these precision windsocks with those three orange stripes, did you actually know you could tell velocity, wind velocity, in addition to direction with the windsock that looks just like that? Let me actually explain here. I know you might learn something this time around. The working windsock is, yeah, as basic and as primitive as it gets. And there is a trust factor, right? That it's not welded or rusted in one fixed position. Like it's actually going to give you this accurate indication. Has it been maintained? Are there at least a couple of them on the field to cross check, you know, the wind direction and, and intensity? But this is literally as basic as it gets. And so long as that nylon fabric that makes up the sock is intact and its integrity is good, yeah, it's going to give you a general indication of wind flow and wind velocity. Let me also tell you that it greatly helps to have multiple wind socks across an airport surface rather than just one. I know we've all seen the small airport with one wind sock midfield. Okay, that's great, but what are the conditions like on the approach end versus the departure end? Because there are, especially on a long runway or an airport surface with some terrain on one side but not the other, there are great differences. We know that across the surface of a runway as it relates to wind. But you're just trying to get an overall picture. You're trying to paint that. Maybe there's an AWOS or an ASOS that's also helping you out. But at the very, very least, a windsock is the most basic thing that every airport obviously has. At least one you'd prefer if there were multiple. But there's two types of windsock, right? There's the orange one, which is kind of like the dummy version. If, if, if windsocks were phones, if they were cell phones, it, that would be the flip phone that doesn't give you much. The orange windsock. <laughs> it doesn't do what the smartphone can do. The smartphone version of a windsock is striped. It's got three stripes, and it can actually tell you wind velocity in addition to direction. I'll go one by one here, and I really want you to pay attention to the ends and the edges of these orange stripes. For example, that first end of the orange first stripe. If, if the sock is kind of breaking at that point, no, again, I realize none of this is a precise science, and you might be thousands of feet away, if not half a mile away, if not a thousand feet in the air trying to look down at this and, you know, you're trying to make this out. But on the ground, it's a good indicator. And if you're close to it, if you're taking off and you can pause and you're not moving for a second, you can get a good look at this. That's three knots right there. That's a good indication of three knots if the windsock is just breaking at the edge of that first orange line. The next arrow I want to point out here, the beginning of the second orange line. That's about six knots. The end of that second orange line. That's about nine knots. You're seeing how this is going here. Twelve knots is all but that last orange line fully extended uh, or erect. I mean, you can you could kind of see at this point, like, how would that be easy to decipher if just the, the very end of it is extended or not? Granted, this is all ballparking it. And then if the windsock is fully extended, that's about 15 knots of wind. So here's the biggest thing you could understand, even if you don't take away all this precision here. This is how the windsock is actually designed to work. If it's sitting there limp, it's light and variable winds, no question about it, if it's not moving. If it's got a little bit of movement and there's a little bit of break into it, it's a couple knots. If it's halfway, it's probably seven or eight knots, half of 15. And if it's fully extended, that's about 15 knots of wind. If you take away nothing else from this video, you know, commit those to memory as rule of thumb. I have found this to be quite accurate over time. In all the airports I've ever been into, you know, no wind versus, you know, somewhere in the middle, yeah, seven to eight knots, a pretty typical day of, you know, light to moderate occasional wind. And then 15 knots fully extended, there's no question. Now, the hard part about it is that once it's fully extended, you don't know if it's 15 knots or 25 knots or 35 knots. You just know that it has reached its capacity. So don't assume, by the way, that fully extended instantly only means 15 knots. It means 15 knots or greater. That's probably the best way to put it. Okay, 
So I really can't go much farther than that. How to use the windsock? Yeah, the direction is obvious. That's one thing. But I bet you didn't know that about those, those orange stripes. You can also understand wind velocity with the socks. How long did I go on that? Like five minutes? I went five minutes on how to use a windsock. <laughs> I just want to say thanks for being here on the channel. Subscribe if you like this type of stuff. I've got more great content coming out soon. And thumbs up on this video if it provided you some value that would greatly help me out.